Hey everyone, this is Joseph Smolinski. I'm the chair of the Department of Art and Design, and I'm here to show you our virtual desktop interface uh, where you can find software to use uh, for your coursework. So once you're in um, Canvas, you can navigate to your courses and find the Fall 2020 Art and Design BDI. Click on that. Uh, you can come up with two different areas. You go to Amazon AWS Art and Design. You can find software such as AutoCAD or Revit. Um, if you navigate to Adobe Creative Cloud, you can activate software like Photoshop, Illustrator, After Effects, things like that. So the way this works is it's an interface that uh, links to a desktop uh, at the university. It takes a little bit to load, um, but once it does, you will have uh, the ability to work on that software virtually. One thing to note is um, you should have some cloud storage that you can store your files on. Um, that way you can work on uh, different machines uh, at different times. If you have a laptop at home, you can load this on that and uh, you should be able to, to access the software. Uh, it works on your connection speed, so you know the faster the connection you have, the better the software will, will run. But if you're patient, you should be able to have free access to all of these softwares in lieu of paying for a subscription. Uh, let's see, I may just pause this until it loads and resume. Okay, we are back. Uh, what will pop up when Adobe begins to load? Uh, I will ask you for a sign-in. So if you haven't done so already, go to adobe.com and create uh, a user and a password. You don't have to buy anything, but just create an account. Use your university email when you create that account as well. So click in the box, type your email address, continue. Select company or school account. It will prompt you then to go to our uh, University of New Haven login, your user, um, your password. You should get in. And of course, if you haven't done so, you may need to use the Duo account as well. Oh, here's something I already started <laughs> a little while ago. So now I have access to the software, all right? So if I go to File, New Document, uh, I can create a new document. I can use any of these devices within here. And uh, then I can also save, uh, and it will save to, uh, to a computer. Actually, don't want to do that cancel you want to save to a cloud device so if you save something save to cloud documents and label it test save it will save it to your adobe cloud document now if we want to load something into this um, you can actually go to this little file up here click on this my files click on home folder uh, and upload a file to that. So here we can go to, let's see where we'll go. Let's go to my documents, drawings 2019. Let's select uh, this image and open it. It's gonna take a little bit. All right, here we go, it's right there. Exit out when you're done. And then you should be able to go to file, open, sorry. Open on your computer, navigate to this PC, home folder, open, and here's the image. Let's see. And there we go. So here's an image uh, 
of it's a river. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Takes a little private bit of practice. Um, but anyway, here's an image uh, of uh, a river that had the two trees that fell across. It looked like an X. I thought it was pretty cool. You can magnify the screen if you want to. Uh, it'll take a bit to resize. You can drag this out to make it bigger. So you can work on it more effectively. Um, you can zoom in, see your scene, and you can apply any of um, you know any of the things that you would normally do. So. Um, just go to adjustments, for example, and change the exposure. Maybe I'll change it to be more contrasty, et cetera. You can work on your project. And again, when you're done, let's just see this here. I think it can file. Hit OK. Let's do file and save as. And on your computer, I think you can save it to, um, let's see here. Yes, you save it into your home folder. Let's just do test. X, save, okay, and then it should save it to that folder as well. So I'm going to hit escape to get out of this menu. And I believe if I go to this folder, and I go to my home folder, yeah, there we go, test X. So I could go here, click on this, and I could download it to my computer as well. So that in and of itself is a quick overview of using the VDI, using the software within it. Um, again, this is an option that you can use uh, Adobe Cloud for free um, without having to subscribe to it. So that's all for now. Let us know if you have questions.